Good morning everyone. Today is going to be our final video here in the US. We're going to be leaving later on today, but we're going to be doing a tour because our flight is only at 11 p.m. So we have to keep ourselves busy during the day. And we booked a tour on Get Your Guide that goes to the Everglades National Park. And we've just come now to the place where we're supposed to get the bus. So on Get Your Guide, it tells you the meeting point. I think it's that bus there, the big bus. And it's $107 overall after taxes, but that's for the both of us, not each. And as usual, I'll put the link in the video description if you're interested in booking this tour. And this tour was actually recommended by many of our followers and subscribers when it came here last time. So thank you for that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Weebo's tour. My name is Santiago. I am with your driver today to the Everglade Holy Day Park, Alligator Park. So we've arrived at the park now. So in the tour, there's two things included. One's the boat tour, the main reason that we're here, and some sort of wildlife show. Ready to see some alligators? Yeah, not too close. <laughs> <laughs> some of the birds that you can see too. Wow, look at that one. That one looks amazing. All right, different bird than ever yet. <laughs> so this is gonna be the first time that we get in a boat like this, propeller powered but the propellers not, not in the water, I don't think. I think it's outside the water, isn't it? Yeah, it's called airboat. Airboat. You said it's not always guaranteed to see the alligators. Yeah, that's what I read. So I'm hoping that we'll be lucky today. Fingers crossed. We're in the Tata Express. That's a success. We saw one in 30 Ten seconds. seconds. <laughs> we saw one straight away. All right, now she said that we're gonna go real fast. The speed trail. Sounds like a helicopter. Yeah, it's almost like a plane or a helicopter. Chef is making his way down here. That's Chef right there. Oh. Chef! Oh, oh. oh they, they come to the Tommy, boat. Tommy, Jerry, come on guys. So this brown one right here, this is Chef. Right next to him, that's Tommy, that's the mom. And then a little bit further ahead, that's Jerry. Here comes Curly, trying to figure out how to oh. get there you go. Come on. Oh. There you go. <laughs> that is Tommy right there. She is my OG. I met her a while ago when I first started working here, which was back in April hey. of this year. Uh, hey. Shep is right here. Curly's up at the top. Curly's right over there. I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, they're like super cute and they want to come. They're like pets. Yeah, almost like that. Wild pets.
the tow is really good. We only saw the one alligator. Like I said, I don't know how easy it is to see that many, but she said we were lucky to see it straight away. And she also said that a third of Florida get their drinking water from here. Really cool tour and she knew about many stuff. Really liked it. Yeah, the little birds were the highlight though, I think. So now we're gonna have the alligator presentation. You can already see them here. All the gators you see in this pit are what's known as nuisance alligators. Uh, that means they all came out of somebody's backyard, pond, canal, the swimming pool. They came off a golf course, ate the neighbor's dog. Uh, the state of Florida kills about 8,000 nuisance alligators every single year, and usually just because they swam through someone's backyard canal a few times. Almost every gator in this pit has been here long enough to realize that I am not going to hurt them. Once that kind of settles in, there is no real motivation to make these huge explosive movements they're so famous for. So we ended up going through a kind of zoo area there. I know that's probably not for everyone, even the show. Even we don't really like zoos like captured animals. But the guy explained that the alligators here, they're called nuisance alligators. So they're alligators that I think have gone into people's homes, things like that. Yeah, like they ate somebody's dog. And according to Florida's law, I think those kind of uh, crocodiles or alligators, they are uh, they are supposed to be killed, something like that. So this place here, they rescued those animals that were going to be killed and they are doing the show. Uh, for me, it was still uncomfortable. I wouldn't do it if I knew it. Uh, the, the boat tour part was cool, but I didn't really enjoy the, the show. Yeah, some other people left. A lot of people don't like that kind of thing, right? If it wasn't for the show, they'd be dead. So I guess it depends which way you look at it. So we've now come to a neighborhood called Winwood. We've come to a part specifically called Winwood Walls. So I knew it was a part where you had like murals and stuff, but I didn't realize that literally every building is like a mural. Even driving here a few blocks away, it was kind of all like this, super colorful. So it turns out that for the main area of Winwood Walls, you gotta pay $12 each. So it says that this place was launched in 2009 by legendary placemaker Tony Goldman. Transformed a forgotten industrial area into the mecca of large-scale street art. Yeah, so our Uber driver, when he saw that we were coming here, he was actually telling us that when he was younger, that this place was just a industrial wasteland, pretty much. Like it said, so only in 2009, they started turning it around into this. Now oh, this one's actually from Brazil. Bicicleta sem freio, a bicycle without brakes. 2022, recent one. So he said when it first opened this area it was kind of like for bars and stuff like a bohemian area where people could get drinks happy hour this one looks cool i think it's tokyo isn't it yeah <laughs> or somewhere in japan 
So we'll be there. Spoiler. <laughs> We're hoping to go to Japan soon. Funny, you got like these old carpets. Got a bit of everything going on. Tomorrow. You know this song? No. You're not 80 years old like me. So these pieces here are for sale, and check out that price. Forty thousand dollars. I wonder what the other prices are like. Oh my God, seventy thousand dollars. I don't think we're going to be buying any art today, Carol. Guess how much this one? Well, that's an even bigger one. Over a hundred? What is it? It's uh, half a million. Seriously? Yeah. What the hell? Half a million dollars. What does it say? We live in a beautiful world. If you have half a million dollars. <laughs> the doors. That one Tried I know. to run, try to hide. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. That's James Dean. Also got the cool sculptures, monkey business for Dalu to Portugal 2021. So I only just realized that this one here, it's actually like carved into the wall. They've like chiseled the wall. So we're gonna try a street art experience, which is for free, where we get to do some graffiti ourselves. Think you can hit the level of the other pieces that we've been seeing? Definitely not. Make us half a million, Carol. Make it happen. So we got four and a half minutes. There we go. What is that? I don't know. Random <laughs> stuff. Time's running out. That's your time, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. job. Got a latte to go, four dollars fifty-five. I got it to go so that we can walk around a bit more. That is one funky looking shop. I think this is probably one of the best art places we've ever been. Yeah, yeah, the the how you call that the place that we just went. The walls. Yeah, so that was like uh, you had to pay to enter and stuff, but it was really cool, very different and just really cool. <laughs> Got a guy doing graffiti here right now. 
more classic cars like we saw in the Miami Beach area. never ends yeah we're like walking and sometimes we think oh it's ending but then just something like this appears like look at this part the whole thing is painted too everywhere when we lived in Houston there was an area that was kind of like this but nowhere near this big we were looking for this one that we saw in a picture by a famous Brazilian artist called Cobra but we can't find it we don't know where it is this one's absolutely massive So we're at the Miami International Airport now. Gonna board in about three and a half hours. Feeling really tired, but that's good because we're gonna be flying during the night, right? So I'm not usually a good sleeper on the plane. So hopefully us being so tired from the day, we'll be able to get some sleep. And we're gonna be heading to the Algarve where my parents live and spending a few weeks there and getting some much needed rest. Yeah, because we've been uh, traveling and making videos like uh, like crazy this this past few uh, weeks I think it was a month uh, in the Caribbean we spent a month in the Caribbean and we filmed 17 videos I think it's 17 something like that which is a lot for us we usually don't do that but uh, we were planning to do that because we know that Caribbean is a little expensive sometimes very expensive and even here in Miami so usually when we go to expensive places we film a lot and we do things in a short amount of time and that's what we did here but now we're going to Algarve in Portugal spend some time some weeks or maybe a month with our family there and also save some money <laughs> to keep traveling after that yeah when we travel in, in more expensive countries it feels kind of weird just to be sat around in the apartment not doing much because like when we go to other more affordable countries sometimes we just chill out we're not always like filming or editing but yeah since we're spending so much even being idle in some of these places it makes us want to go out and film and make the most of it and sometimes we end up doing this so a lot of people ask us if we ever take a break from travel and this is kind of how we do it sometimes we film a lot to make a backlog of videos and then we can just like chill out for a few weeks and release them and that way we're still able to make content for you guys without just disappearing for like a month it's better that way and we're not sure if we're going to make some videos in the Algarve still even though we're going to be relaxing the majority of the time but after that we're going to be heading to a new country so that should be cool if you like this video just drop a like as usual to support us subscribe to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and facebook and we'll see you in the next one